Welcome back to OOP series for PHP and in this episode we are going to learn about the name spaces in the PHP. So before going ahead I have told you about the auto loading system and in this episode I have told you that we will going beyond the auto loading system. If you have a large project then there will be some problem. What are the problem that will start our first discussion for why we need namespace. Okay. So obviously you cannot create two files having same name in the folder. Okay. But suppose you can create another file with another name, but even that you cannot have same class name in a single directory. Okay. Then obviously you cannot do these things. So this is not a big deal for a small project, but if you are working on a big project or having a work on team then you have some problem because the name of the class will clashes will collide okay obviously you can create a new folder and put your class in that folder and you can use that but again it's having the problem because sometime if you use third party package or library then they have the same name of the class which you also have then it will be again having the clashes or these user user classes are very common and every one i think has this class so that will be now a clash so if you use a user class then how will you define that that user class is from library package as from admin folder is from your base folder how will you manage these thing so the normal solution is using the underscore Okay, so simply use the class name having underscores. So you have school underscore student underscore syllabus underscore physics underscore force. This means this force class you have created is inside this school folder, then inside student subfolder, then sub subfolder of syllabus, then sub sub subfolder of physics, then you have this class, then and obviously this will going to the endless system of creating a huge huge file name and oh my god how will you deal with these things so now comes the real solution called namespace so what is actually the namespace namespace is a virtual directory you create for your project it has no relation with the real folder structure you are following to manage your files you can have two files having the same class name but they can be used because you have created the different names and don't be confused i will show everything in just a moment and this namespace system is introduced in php 5.3 and used just below the PHP tag and above everything. Okay, so I have told you that namespace is a virtual directory structure for class in a global space. But what is global space? So let's see. Think about global space as a base folder of your project. That means where you have put your main class. Then you can create first namespace, then second namespace. And think about these two as a subfolder inside this global space and obviously you can create class a and b in this namespace and class a and b in, in this namespace then you can create a new sub first namespace and sub first namespace too and they also can have class name a class name b and similarly here yeah this means you can see we have one two and three class a and one, two, and three class B, but because they are all at different subspaces, then they can be distinguished from one another. If you are not convinced, if you have some doubt, just be with me. I will show you what is this. Because this namespace concept is little difficult to understand, but I will make it easy for you. Okay, so let's go to Sublime once more. Here I have the namespace folder, and let's create a file called index.php here, php tag so here it is and let's create another file inside this namespace folder called first namespace so i will use fns.php and here i will create class called a okay as we have discussed okay and what this will do this will just have a constructor 
construct which is just going to echo out i am at global space okay and let's use this file and echo this so i will just include this first name space then i will say object is equal to dollar new a okay the class name we have is a so let's go to chrome and here i will go to name space and yeah i am at global space that's very good no problem but suppose i will create another file called second namespace sns.php and here i will say php tag and i will just copy everything from here and paste it here okay now i have two classes one is this a class inside sns.php second is inside fns first namespace okay so let's try to include that also once more second namespace go to chrome reload and it says cannot declare class a because name is already in use because this class also have class name a so now what we have to do we have to use the namespace system because the name is clashing now what we can do we can use this second namespace as we will provide it as a namespace and i will say it as a second okay so simply is done and now if i go to chrome reload the page it's not having clashes because we have not ever called this class a from second namespace so how will we call the second namespace class a we just have to do one thing what is that we have to give here second the namespace okay we have given here namespace so think about this this second is just a virtual folder where you have put your class or even this file so now php will get this class inside this second folder okay second named folder okay go back to chrome reload and it says i am at global space again so because it's again saying i am at global space so i will say i am at second space okay reload yeah i am at second space that means now i can access this file if i want to access this class name i will use the second keyword which, which is actually the namespace of here okay so this actually is called the qualified class name so i will write qualified class name so that should be commented okay so this is qualified class name but we can do one thing more we can even put our index inside this namespace so if i use name space second here now i try to call let's see what happened well, yeah it's saying new error oops how can we resolve this so let's take a closer look here it says second second slash a that means it's first going to this second because i have told you php that my index.php is inside this second namespace so it will firstly go to second namespace then again we have given that we have to go to once more into the second namespace okay so that's why it's giving here so if i remove this now try to access yeah i am at second space this means because index.php and second namespace both are in a common namespace called second that's why we can access this class a of second namespace directly so now what i will do if i do this this will called unqualified class name because we have not given any address so this is called unqualified but how will you now get the first class name so here we have first class name class a so if we want to access the class name which is above this namespace okay so i will now say object is equal to new and here i have to give the full namespace system so i will say 
slash then a okay so let's see the result it says second second a yeah okay i have to comment this one reload and it says i am at second place i am at global space so if i give here a break reload and yeah first we are loading the i am at second space this one and then we are loading i am at global space so this is a global space and this is called fully qualified class name or simply fqcn okay so this is actually the namespace system and keep in mind each and every file we have here is inside a real folder called namespace but we have now made every class in a new virtual directory so our index class and sns class is inside this virtual second folder and this is inside a global space and i think now you are getting what is global space finally the namespace so there is another way of importing these classes so if i remove this second from here this means now this index.php is at global space okay so if i want to access the class name a from second namespace so what i have to do i will use keyword use then second slash backslash a okay now whenever we are using a it will look for this one so let's go to chrome reload and you can see first one is the second space and second one is the global space so first is this one which is actually getting this and this if i want to get then that is from the first namespace which is at global space but suppose you don't want to do like this you want to do like this and because we are using class a new a every time so this is printing this but i want to get the class name a from the second namespace so what i will do i will say as use this class as new a okay and if i say here new a let's see what happens so i will say new a reload and yeah first one is now from the second space but second one is now becoming the global space you can see this one is now the global because we have converted this file name a to new a for our index.php okay so if you have any doubt feel free to message me comment me and don't forget to subscribe and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye